Welcome to another episode of MPT Outdoors. I'm out here on the um, Iron Goat Trail cooking up some lunch. So what I wanted to show you today was an experiment in uh, making my own lunch. Rather than doing Mountain House, I concocted my own little uh, lunch. Now this is a third a cup of uh, instant potatoes, third a cup of couscous, a bunch of herbs that I got from uh, True Value. Oh, that's not True Value, excuse me, that's my other favorite store. Um, Trader Joe's. And I've also got some olive oil. And as you can see here, I've got some water boiling in my little pot. And I'm gonna put this all together and see how it tastes. Because I'd like to do something other than a mountain house when I'm out hiking and camping. Because the sodium in uh, Mountain House and other foods like that is pretty darn high. A little too high for my taste sometimes. So, the recipe for this is pretty straightforward. Like I said, a third cup of couscous, third cup of uh, instant potato flakes, um, several um, shakes of 21 seasoning. I also put a half a, a beef bouillon cube in there. One of those small ones, just a half of one of those, should be enough. A squirt or two of olive oil. Boil up some water. Yep, that's boiling. Turn that off. That's hot. Okay, this is something I gotta figure out how to do properly. Pour in the boiling water, don't need much. I had more water than I really needed in there. Stir it all up. So it's good and mixed up. All right? And then put on the lid. This on it too, to keep it warm. Now you're looking at this and you're wondering, what the heck is that, Glenn? Those of you who are into the DIY kind of stuff and uh, to make your own gear stuff, you know what this is. That's Reflectix. It's the same stuff I use on my hammock pad to keep myself warm in the wintertime. This will keep the heat in there and allow those, those ingredients to get all cooked up and swollen up and expanded with the hot water and everything. So, just pour out this water here. I also brought along for myself some um, hot cocoa, figuring, oh, I'm going to be up in the mountain. It's still spring. I'll need it. But I tell you, today is just too beautiful. Too warm, I don't need the hot cocoa, so I'm gonna skip that. All right, I will have a, a cup of water though, because it is pretty hot. So this is gonna take about five minutes to heat up properly and get cooked. So we'll just pause the camera for a little while so you guys don't have to sit there for five minutes waiting for me. And then I'll try it, and I'll give you my um, culinary uh, opinion of whether or not it's worth making and worth eating. Hang tight. Right. So it's um it's all cooked up. It doesn't look very appetizing. Kind of a yellowish color, some herbs and spices in there you can distinguish. The flavor though was really good. Um, the nice thing with couscous of course it's got a lot of protein in it. I got some carbs there from the potatoes. Just fluffing it up a little bit. I think next time I'll use a little less bullion, maybe a quarter of a cube of bullion. I think that'll be sufficient. So this is kind of like the consistency of like mashed potatoes and couscous, as you would expect, all mushed up together in lumps. But uh, yeah, the flavor is actually pretty good. Yeah. I think this is a winner. I'm going to make this for next time when I go out camping. Um, try around with some different herbs. Oh, you know what I've got? I just thought. I brought along some of those grated cheese, Parmesan cheese you get in pizza boxes. I'm going to sprinkle some of that on. There we go. Alright, put that back in the bag because we always pack it in, pack it out, leave no trace. 
Alright, let's try this. Mmm. Even better with the cheese. You wouldn't want to use two packets of cheese, it'd be too cheesy, too salty. The one would be just fine. Hmm. All right. So again, I'll put the recipe in the uh, comments, show more section down there, so you can check that out. Make this yourself. See what you think. Play around with the recipe. Try some different ideas. If you got some good ideas about some meals you can make when you're out camping that are a little more than the usual, just add boiling water into this package that you paid ten bucks for. I'd like to hear about them. And as always, subscribe. If you uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments about uh, getting out the outdoors, either as just a two-legged person or a one-legged person like myself, um, put them in the comments section. Ask me those questions. I'll see what I can do to help out with the answers, okay? All right. Hope to see you out on the trail having a good meal.